ESPN is getting dragged into the FSU ACC lawsuits. Conference realignment is always in the news, so we're back on the big mountain to keep you updated. Hey, Steve. We got something else to talk about with FSU and the ACC, and we are bringing ESPN into, well, we're not. ESPN's getting drug into this. Uh, If you're new to the channel, I'm JY. This is my good friend, Steve. We have been on the FSU ACC lawsuits ever since they hit. Uh, Be doing updates to all of this. Something that just hit here recently is ESPN. We've talked about what are they, how are they going to get involved? Are they going to get involved? I want to just briefly talk about uh, what's going on in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina, then let you give some thoughts on where you think things could be at with with ESPN and you know kind of where they may where they may be moving forward in these cases. So on February fifth, ESPN was served with a certification of service by the Superior Court of Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. And this is where the ACC filed their lawsuit against FSU. The motion included in the filing is to seal the ESPN and ACC media rights agreements. ESPN now has 20 days from February 5th to file a brief in response to this filing. Um, And it appears that they're going to be using the law firm of Kravath, Sawin, and Moore LLP to represent them. Very well-known uh, law firm, I, they've used them before, so they, they, they know each other. Um, and for now, uh, this is just a, a legal action that looks to maintain the confidentiality of the agreement. Outside of that, ESPN has nothing to do, as of right now, with this case. It's just whether or not they're going to hold these uh, media rights agreements confidential. Um, so he's, they're going to, you know, probably piss somebody off, one of the sides, and they're going to, you know, I'm not going to say they're going to take sides, but, you know, obviously if they want to hold them confidential, FSU is not going to be very happy. If they let them go, the ACC is not going to be very happy. So they're going to piss somebody off one way or the other, uh, which, whichever way they, they choose to go about this. Um, as we mentioned in our last update, FSU has set their sights solely on the ACC. You know, they, they are not looking at ESPN right now. In fact, you know, I mentioned in, the, in that episode I use the word protect, and I don't know if that's right, but but they are solely saying the ACC is to blame for all of this, not ESPN. We actually were represented. Um, the ACC represented things that ESPN said to us incorrectly. You know, they, they fabricated some of this or coerced some things and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff going on with that FSU lawsuit. Uh, so it, it remains to be seen kind of how this is going to continue and what involvement ESPN is going to have. But again, as of right now, it's just them saying, yes, we're going to hold this confidential or no, we're not. That's all this filing is at this point. But I think they're obviously gearing up for potentially having to be more involved in this case. Uh, and they need to have their their ducks in a row if, if that's the case. So that's where we're at with ESPN. They are being drug into this briefly but i think it could get more dirty what do you think it's steve yeah so you know before we recorded when we were off camera you and i discussed you know is this really worth an, an update in a video or whatever yeah and so on its face value this is just this is a small thing you know yes. it's a small motion figuring out you know if they're going to waive confidentiality if they're going to open everything up from the espn perspective um here's here's where i think it could turn into something bigger um for a long time i've really thought that this was going to turn into a a battle with on one side you have the the acc as kind of like a, a the proxy for abc espn disney yes. okay and on the other side we'd have the state of florida okay and and i really saw that coming uh, you know i i've thought for a long time that that's where we were going to end up yeah um which you know it, it, you combine those together the acc with a big company like disney they'd make a formidable opponent yeah i think after reading the fsu filing uh, and obviously, some of those things have not been uh, their amended filing. Some of those, you know, those things have not been proven yet in court. Right. But for them to put those in their filing and and basically express that that they want to go through discovery phase where they can present evidence of those allegations, uh, I think that this could turn into something bigger where basically the ESPN Disney could abandon the ACC, mm-hmm. waive confidentiality, and say, "Hey, this has nothing to do with us. Right. Uh, you're on your own." And, you know, when they do waive that confidentiality, is it possible that, um, you know, some some evidence comes to light that basically the ACC was misrepresenting right. what ESPN Disney was saying 
Um, you know, and, and that just opens more, can, you know, more Pandora's boxes yeah. uh, for the for the ACC and gives them more risk. So, on its face, right now, this is a small case. We wanted to update people just and kind of get the conversation going because we feel like this could really turn into something big instead of you know the ACC and and ESPN Disney fighting Florida together a kind of a two-sided battle this could turn into where the ACC has no friends yeah. they're on an island by their own and it could happen in a hurry yeah and and um just to be clear, you said small case. It's not a small case. Small piece to the small case. Small piece to the yeah. case, yes. Sorry, I, I hate to correct you, yeah, but yeah. I kind of had It's you. all good. Somebody would comment and say, this isn't a small case. No. Steve, what are you drinking? Yeah, just a small uh, part of this Small case. part of the case, yeah. Um, but yeah, and and looking at that, and we talked about this briefly before before recording this, you know, this this could become a real a significant brand image issue for ESPN if they get into this mess with the ACC. Mm-hmm. Um, so to your point, you, you could see this becoming, and I don't know if ESPN will do it. I I agree with you. I think they're going to be like, here's the information. We're out of this. The fight's between you guys. You know, we we don't want any part of it, but that might be enough. That might be enough. But if the the ACC is going to continue to move forward with things where FSU saying they misrepresented Mm -hmm. ESPN, does ESPN have to go on an attack and say, whoa, ACC, what are you guys doing? That's not how this Mm -hmm. happened. And now you've got FSU attacking the ACC from the front, and you got ESPN flanking from the other side. Mm-hmm. Uh, that could get ugly real quick. I don't know if that's going to happen. We're, we're speculating on that a little bit, but it sets it could easily set the case that that could happen. Now it'll be really interesting to see what ESPN does, how long they they sit on the sideline, give what they need to give, and answer the questions they need to answer. But how long do they have to sit on the sideline before? This pissing match between these two entities gets to a point where they've had enough splatter from this this crap that's going on. And they're like, hey, hold on, time out. Stop running our name through the mud. They do that enough as it is. I know that's what our commenters are going to say. They, they don't need any help doing that. There's, there's no love lost for some of our commenters with ESPN. But, um, yeah, you know, they're, they're not going to put up with people smearing their name. And it, it, that could get ugly. Yeah, you, you know we we've um, we've we've talked about the whole Titanic hmm. iceberg. We've used that kind of analogy, and to me, this is a point. You know, the 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 Titanic's already been hit by this right. iceberg. Yes. Okay, you know, we don't know yet if it's going to sink mm-hmm. or or whatever. But the Titanic has been hit. It's taken on water, and you have a position right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this analogy a little farther okay. here. Where if you remember at the end of that movie, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, his love interest is up on a, on on the platform or whatever. Yep, he's taking them for the team. Oh yeah, and he's and he's and so to me, you know, the ESPN Disney, they're up on the little wooden ship right. and, and they're they're like letting Leo's hand go. <laughs> yeah. you, you might be sinking in the water. So yeah. we'll see if that actually happens. Yeah. It's you know it's a possibility. I I really think. Um, and we've also seen those rumblings. We've been talking about the media deal. Mm. We've seen the rumblings that ESPN may not want to extend this past 2027. Right. So they might be looking for a, a, a golden ticket to, to get out or at least give the ACC the boot Absolutely. or let them sink into the dark waters. Absolutely. Good point. Good point. So we're going to stay on this. Uh, you know, we've, we've done more updates than I thought I realized we would just because everybody's amending things and crazy things are happening. February 16th, I believe. Is the, the deadline for them to actually respond, although FSU already has a leg up on that with their amendment. They've already responded to some things. Uh, a lot more to come on this. We will stay on it. Make sure you give us a like. Make sure you give us a subscribe. With that, we'll see you guys next time on the Big Mountain.